Well, greetings in Jesus' precious name. It's an honor to bring God's word this afternoon. Let's pray together. Our dear Father, we thank you right now for your word that's about to come. We pray for those that are viewing right now. Bless them and touch them. Father, pray that you'll fall and prepare ground right now. Bless the hearts that are listening right now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I come to join the prayers that we can come before you this afternoon to bring God's word and to bring this afternoon devotions. Well, in, in the book of Galatians, the Apostle Paul speaks about something that's very important as we walk this Christian life. As we cry to the Lord, bring us back to holiness in these 21 days of fasting and praying. Let's read Galatians 5 verse 6. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts in this faith, expressing itself through love. And I'm so thankful for God's love. And I'm so grateful for his love. Because there's no word that can express how grateful we are for Christ Jesus. And I know you that you know, through love came the greatest sacrifice uh, to man in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So... That love is the agape, which is the highest form. It's not just an ordinary love. It's the beautiful, tangible love of Jesus Christ. Now, every day we fault and we fail, but that does not mean that we should not grow to love one another. We should strive and work hard to be Christ-like. This world has their own ideas uh, about love. That's why in Galatians 5, Verse 7 in the message Bible it says, You were running this, you were running superbly. Who cut in on you, deflecting you from the true cause of obedience? I like what he says after this. He says, This detour does not come from the one who called you into the race in the first place. Amen. So this was God's original blueprint for us to run the perfect race in love and in holiness. Somehow we gave up because of the distractions and the temptations of this world. There is still time for you to come back to holiness. He has redeemed us from the curse of this world. He has called us into the marvelous light to run this race all the way to the finish line. Come back to the Father. Join the race. He truly loves you. Now in Galatians 5 verse 22, we all know the fruits of the Spirit. And the first on the list was love. Now, there must be a reason that Paul puts love on the top of the list. Amen. It's very important because love overwhelms and conquers everything. Amen. When we embrace the love of God, we feel joy, peace, and a level of contentment. Now, in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, let's read together. It says, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Amen. Now I'm going to close with Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. Sow righteousness for yourself. Amen. It says, sow so righteousness for yourself. Reap the fruits of unfailing love and break up the unplowed ground. For it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and showers his righteousness on you. Amen. Until he comes, and until we finish this race, let us strive for holiness. Let us strive for the mark of perfection. Amen. And I pray and hope that this word was encouraging to you. And I pray that it's a blessing to you. And God bless you. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you right now for your word. And we thank you for those that are viewing right now. We pray that right now that you'll fall in prepared ground. And for those that have viewed and listened to your word, I pray right now that love shall conquer all. We thank you for your agape love, for God. We thank you for your mercy and your grace over our lives. And bless us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.